um, because you've made it that simple. And because it's so simple, I'm like, wow, I'm going to do this. And so everything you're saying is absolutely correct. You are a man of integrity, so the things you give away that are of great value are truly of great value, especially for those that act on and use those things you're giving out. That's another mistake I think some people make is, you know, if they get something for free, that's how they value it, and they may not do anything with it. But you gave them something. Well, you know what I think it is, Brian. Sometimes when people see free, they are so worried there's something. Yeah. There's got to be a catch or something behind it, right. and it, it sounds like for for a viral program to work like this, it needs to be a great free product, high value, high content. So that's a great point to let everybody know. Just because you see it and it's free, does not necessarily mean that there's something behind it. You're you're actually getting a phenomenal product. Yeah, and I'll actually tell maybe a brief story about that. I'm not the type of guy, like you ask any of my friends or families, I'm the type of guy that's considered, you know, complicated. And I always will complicate things. And it's actually through experience that I, that I um, kind of learned what I'm talking about now. So you go to any of my, like you said, they're very simple and very clean. That's not because I'm that type of guy. I learned that, like I'll give a quick story. Like I had a site and the people who were coming I was getting maybe 6% of them actually doing anything on my site. So really, really bad. And I found that over time, over the course of about a year of experimentation, that the simpler I made it, the simpler I made it, the more percent, the higher that percentage is. It's now to a point where it's between 50 and 60% of people will actually do stuff. And if you go to the site now, it's extremely, extremely simple. Same with that voice press site. The simpler that I made it, the higher results. So it's not so much like, that's just the right thing to do or, or anything. It's, it actually works. The numbers actually do show it. And in terms of value, one of the, one of the benefits of viral marketing, oh, um, besides getting a ton of traffic, besides getting a lot of leads and sales, it, that no one really talks about is the relationship that you can build with people. Yeah. By giving away something free and of high value, the likelihood, number one, um, they're more than happy to spread your message. Right. Number two, when they come on their on your website, they came off of an endorsement from other people. And when they actually come and they get that high value, the likelihood of them actually buying the thing you have is super high. So, you know, people might think, oh, I'm a guy that's great. I have high integrity. And maybe, maybe that's true or maybe it's not true. But the reality is that it works. You give people think something of super high value, what comes back in return is, you know, uh, much more engagement with your customers, more traffic because they're spreading your message, and um, your click-through rates improve, your conversion, everything gets better by just being a good person and giving away things of high value. And you know, I've got to say, Brian, just listening to him talk, I'm just like going, ah! You know, just I've got so many things just flying through my head. I know you do too because you spent some time going through through this product today. Mm. Let me tell you, it is just like Ooh. it's over the top. Yeah, it's on that note, exciting. that's a good segue. Uh, for those of you watching right now, you'll see Kyle's still image beneath us. I think he's leaning, I think this way a little bit. Looks like he's in a library. Uh, don't do this right oh, now, sorry. but click on his nose later, and that will take you directly to his Facebook page. Uh, be sure to hook up with him there, get to know him. You'll you'll like the person you find out who he is. He is of high integrity no matter what he says on this show. He is. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely hook up with him there. But more importantly, as we are going to get into this a little later, but down beneath us there's a, a nice logo that says Wildfire. And that's going to be the subject of our second half of our show here. And definitely click on that, and you'll be taken directly to yet another highly simple yet very well thought out website where you'll be introduced or or you will be met with a video uh, that introduces uh, what Kyle has just finished burning up wildfire get it <laughs> anyway be sure to click on that but after the show don't do it yet because uh, and on that note Kyle please remind me when you want to play that little video we got queued up when we get down there Oh, okay um, all right all right all right enough theory Enough theory. We've talked. We've talked. We're bouncing all around it. Kyle, what's an easy viral marketing campaign we can run right now to see some results? <laughs> I actually gave it away. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, 
It's such huh. a simple campaign, and I'll just go over it real, real, real quick again because it, it works every single time. Take your leads and multiply it with what I call an opt-in multiplier campaign. After people give you their email, you got to give them an opportunity to spread your message to get something else. It's just a perfect... Um, many people have heard of the, the, the good old upsell, do you want fries with that, where after someone buys something, the likelihood of them buying something more is, is, is high. Well, it's the same concept with after they give you their email, the likelihood of them doing something else for you is high. And if you incentivize them um, you know, by giving something of good value to share it with three of their friends, you know, that's tripling your, your that's tripling what you get if provided they actually do it. And the trick to making it work, so I already talked about how to do it, but the trick to actually making it work is to make that that thing that you give away complement the first thing that they got. So case in point, let's say you have um, a report. I said give away a missing chapter. Let's say you give away a video. You want to give a complimentary video. Um, so something that complements, but ideally is of higher value. You see what I'm saying? Or oh, yeah. like in one case, I, I'll give away a video to get the lead, to get the email, and then I'll give away a software to get the referral. Uh, and the, 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 the net yeah. result of that is every lead that you get obviously multiplies to be two or three leads. So, I mean, it's something that can be applied like within minutes, especially obviously using my software, but it's, it works. It definitely works. You know, Kyle, I gotta say this. To most people, when you talk about viral trafficking or viral traffic, viral marketing, it sounds big and scary and and hard and how do I do it? And so far what you've shared with us certainly simplifies it. Like Brian pointed out, your sites are so streamlined and smooth and easy. So it puts it into a more a more palatable place for the average um, business owner to utilize a program like this and make a huge difference in their marketing and their traffic generation. So I, that it rocks. I love it. Yeah, and one of the things I'll say is, I mean, I guess I've said it before, but just adding a little viral marketing can go a long way. And and that's one thing people don't understand with, um, like, when you think about, you know, you've probably heard of the law of compounding, you know, um, it's the, the, the strongest force in the universe. So just a little can go a long way. So if someone, some, a lot of people are daunted with, oh, it might be technical to get it set up. Just add a right. little. Just add a very, very little thing because the cool thing is once you see some results, you can take the results or the proceeds from that results and improve on it. If you start tracking it, you can improve on it and do something more complicated. A lot of people look at Facebook and Twitter and see these you know, intricate, complicated viral campaigns. Right. They didn't start that. You may start with just a very, very simple, you know, tell a friend campaign, and you'll see measurable results. Now, the cool thing is, I took those those issues, those fears, you know, of the technical hurdles and stuff, and I created a software that will help you get, you know, even complicated stuff. But even if you don't have a tool like Wildfire, start small, see results, and then improve those results. Awesome. Well, I just want to tell you your. Uh... <laughs> Your friend um, Owen saying sup sup, so he's like doing double sup. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Tell Owen, who I, who I know pretty well, <laughs> I, I said what's up right back. I'm sure he can mm -hmm. hear me. <laughs> yeah, he did a little smiley face too. So you get okay. a smiley face with that as well. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, you know, obviously social networks play an important role. I mean, they're everywhere, and that's how we're connecting and, and all of that. But does it matter for a viral type program like this? How many connections you have, followers, um, you know, whatever we're calling everybody in these social media platforms, does it matter as to what the success a viral campaign will actually end up being? Um, yes, yes, yes and no. Um, this, this, this question kind of relates back to this, um, the second um, factor of, of those key things where, where I say you need to have a strong catalyst, okay? So obviously you're talking about the people who actually help spread your message. There's a number of, of followers and stuff they have, sort of. The, the key is if you have, um, you want to go after people who are influential, so may have the volumes, but more importantly, you, um, well, you want to have people who are influential, not necessarily people who have these strong volumes. 
you want to have you want to go after people who have a tight relationship with their list or with their followers and things like that now th those are the people you might go after initially but once a campaign starts going i mean it, it, it's like it's like wildfire it goes out of control um <laughs> so you, you end up getting all kinds of people so right. you start with a few key players and then after a while it goes it just goes out of control so you get people with little lists big amounts of followers lots of people um, the main thing is not something that um, I would worry about I would just find a couple people in fact um, one of the things I, I, um, I would do if I don't have anybody is I would just start with my own followers I just go on Facebook and initially spread the link but just as long as you have that viral loop very tight and simple that will spin that will spin out of control in fact that's how we launched voice press I didn't have people I said hey let's go launch this at the same time I just put out a message on you know in my different in sphere of influence and it took off from there I got people writing about it and you know it just spins out of control well, you know talking about spinning actually you've got one of our viewers Michael saying that this has got his head spinning <laughs> and 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 you know what we are we are so there with you and then Robert is asking if you would be able to give an example on how to use a viral program like this um, with the mobile app oh I love that question mobile app good 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 question because mobile mobile is super super powerful yes perfect example this is the first thing that pops in my head if you keep me up after I might be able to get into some more examples but um, 2008, and this blew me away when it happened. <clears throat> so 2008, I'm watching TV. Uh, pre uh, for, not, not President Obama. Pre um, what's it? The, the... Bush. Bush. No, Bush? Pre uh, it, it was Obama, but the, he was running for president. Oh, okay. running for president. Okay. So he's about to give a, a, a talk, and he has he's in front of this huge stadium. And what they have is a little game going on. So they have on the screen a map of the United States. And basically, through the whole in the whole stadium, they say, "Okay, um, what is it? Text your state to this to this number, this short code or something." Okay, and what that did is by texting um, their state to this number, it would light up the map and you know just entertain everybody in the stadium and the state that would win. So it was like a little game. Okay, but what happened <laughs> is that in that stadium, they collected I don't know however many dozens of thousands of mobile numbers that they turned around and now they're campaigning now that even to this day they're probably sending uh, mobile messages too now in that so that's like the first half of a viral campaign in that um, strategy one of the things I haven't seen that yet because I didn't text it but what I'm sure that they're doing I think I did read that they do do this is in terms of completing the viral loop what they what they I'm sure are doing is they say they send out a, a message to all those people with their phone and we say invite some of your friends <clears throat> or wow. hey we're about to attend this rally you know send this text message to to your friends so what happens is just from a pure number standpoint they get maybe I don't know 10,000 mobile message mobile message which alone is great and then that spins out of control because it multiplies by those people spreading them. that's just the first thing that comes to my head there's other ideas of my mobile landing pages, which we actually have in the, in the wildfire software, mm. where you can get people to tweet. I mean, mm. there's a lot that you can do because mobile is just another platform to spread the message. But these principles, these four principles that I've outlined is where it all comes, is where all the, the viral ideas right. come from. How can you wow. turn, create these viral loops that way? My goodness. Beautiful. Oh, talk about spinning heads. Mine's just about to come <laughs> off. <laughs> Come straight yeah, off. Well, you know, we, we've already seen the advantages uh, that viral marketing can do for someone with a minimal list. You just pointed it out where you had really not a huge list. You sent it out, and you you got quite a bit of benefit. But how truly viral can viral get? I mean, that's that's a very vague question. But w what are the limitations to it, if any? <laughs> well, in terms of like. Well, you can create a, uh, a a company valued at $100 billion called Facebook. I mean, <laughs> all in the span of a few short years. Um, you can create, you know, Twitter, which has, I don't know, 100 million users or, or some crazy number like that. Wow. And if you look at, like, man, it's just so wild. It gets me so excited how these companies are able to appear out of nowhere just with these simple viral campaigns. 
that they don't spend money on. That's the, the other like mind blowing thing is you don't have to spend money on it. You just leverage other people to do it. So you can obviously, I mean, I know, I know how you're asking, but, but like you can go extremely viral. But what I'll actually um, maybe get a little bit more scientific okay. is there's an actual viral number that can measure how viral you are. And so in terms of strategically getting tremendously viral, is you, you need to pay attention to this number, and it's called the viral coefficient, okay? Um, and it, it can get complicated, but it's just a simple number that determines how fast you can grow. And there's a critical um, um, point that you reach when you're officially viral, and that's the, num that's the a viral coefficient of one, okay? Now, you can, there's tools you can use, and I have a spreadsheet that I have that, that you can measure, and actually in the software, in the wildfire software, I'm not trying to over pitch it, but it, it will do, it, it'll do the measurements for you, okay? And so what this viral, this coefficient does is, if you have a minimally viral campaign, you might be at a 0 0.1, okay? You can see, you know, viral growth in that when you, one person might net you know, a certain amount of people. But what happens is that eventually it'll die down. If you don't, if you stop stoking the fire and adding more people into that viral funnel, um, you know, it just tapers off and, and, and dies out, which is fine because right now most people have a viral coefficient of zero. They're doing no viral, no, nothing viral. And lots of people create tremendously big businesses that way, you know, just pure search and optimization, pay per click. You just keep sending people to your website and they go nowhere. So even a viral coefficient of zero is not the end of the world. But the minute you, you go up to 0 0.1, now you have something that works on its own. If you stop marketing, you would get more customers. Now, the minute you hit a viral coefficient of one, okay, mm -hmm. that's when if you stopped working, it would continue to grow without you. That means for every one person that comes to your website, it turns into another person, okay? Wow. So if you measure that metric, just like we measure your opt-in rate or you measure your traffic, that's another me metric that you can measure, split test against, and you can increase that virality. Now here's, it's hard to explain in a short conversation yeah. how powerful that is, but like you know, some people may be familiar with traditional split testing where like, you might have a landing page that's at 20% um, opt-in rate. And if you split test the headline, you might get, instead of 20 people out of 100, you might get 25 people out of 100, which is great. Now, if you have a viral campaign that you're split testing the headline for, a tiny change can net tremendous results. So now you might split test a viral coefficient of 0.9 and you split test a headline and it gets to a one, that could mean the difference between 10 opt-ins a day and 30 opt-ins a day. And if you keep stoking the fire, it, it basically you're measuring oh, the, huh? yeah, you're, you're not measure it, measuring the number of opt-ins, you're measuring how much the, the number that it multiplies by. Does the that make sense? Yeah, the exponential factor. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not measuring, you have 10 people that, that turn into just nothing. You're now, a viral coefficient of a 1 turns that into 20. A viral coefficient of a 1.1 turns that into 30 a day. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So, so we're gonna, we are going to be, instead of counting sheep tonight, <laughs> viral whoop de doos going over the fence. Coefficients. Yeah, and so, so when you, the, the thing is, you can, even though it might sound complicated, it, it gets really, really simple. Once you can see what that metric is, yeah. and it's not hard to calculate it, and if someone emails me and doesn't want to buy my software, I'm totally cool with that. I can show them how to calculate it. But once you split test against that, that's the key thing. So you just say, okay, I have a viral coefficient of, of one right now. I'm going to split test my headline, and it's going to grow. But the result is that you're going to see a multiplier effect. So to go back to your question, how viral can you get? Once you know your viral coefficient and you work to improve that, you're always going to get better, but that betterness is exponential. Love so it. huge, huge, huge. Yeah, that's, that's the word I was thinking. Wow. <laughs> and Absolutely to, huge. Hey, I was going to ask, would now be a good time to run the video? Because we're like, I, I mean, we are like getting so close to the end of our hour, and I don't want to miss that. Would, would now be a good time on that? Yeah, it actually would be, and I'll just maybe give a little preamble. So I have this product called Wildfire. You don't have to buy it or not, but, but what it does is it takes everything we've been talking about, and it makes it super simple. 
you use it, you can hit a few buttons and will, it will spit out a viral campaign for you. You slap it on your website and you can see results. So I created a little three minute video that kind of just shows real quick how you can take everything we've been talking about and get it up on your site in two or three minutes and start you know, exponentially multiplying your results. Cool. So roll that clip, Brian. Here we go, I give you wildfire. So let's take a look at a couple of the things that wildfire can do. As soon as you log into Wildfire, you're basically going to see an overview of all of the viral campaigns that you've run, including stats on how each campaign is doing, but not just normal stats. You're going to see things like the viral coefficient and even tips on how you can improve your campaign based on Wildfire's interpretation of your stats. So to create a viral campaign, you would just hit this Create New Campaign button, and you're going to see a list of some popular viral campaigns that you can run using the Wildfire software. So what we've done is we've looked at some of the popular viral campaigns that other successful companies use, have used, and we've created a very fast way for you to get it deployed on your website. So one of the things that, we've always, that we're always asked is, how can we get some fast results with Wildfire? So we created a campaign specifically for this purpose called the Optin Multiplier. So what the Optin Multiplier does is it is exactly as it sounds. It's going to multiply the amount, the, the number of leads that you get on a regular basis. So most websites have some kind of a lead capture form. Um, so this is a simple landing page that asks people for their email address in exchange for a free report. Now most people have something like this, and if you don't have something like this, um, Wildfire can create it for you and deploy it to your website. Basically, most most um, websites have some kind of a lead capture form. So what you can do with Wildfire is after um, they enter their email address in the lead capture form, you can take them to a page that asks them to refer people to, um, to the same landing page. And what this does is it creates a perpetual <coughs> viral cycle that takes each lead and multiplies it into more leads. So it's a very simple campaign, but it has um, exponential results. So once people enter their email address, they get taken to a page they can get taken to a page like this where if they refer three friends, they can get access to some kind of missing feature and that has um, the effect of getting people wanting this feature so much that they're willing to invite their friends. So you'll see they can tweet this link, share it on Facebook, Google Plus, or even add from the address book. Now you'll see Facebook and Twitter using some, the, um, this, these kind of powerful viral marketing tools. So let's take a look at how we built that. So all you would do is double click on the OptiMultiplier campaign and you just answer a few questions and then you can design it. You can add words like that, um, you know, refer three friends. And then in the automation tab you can set it up. You can say after three referrals send the refer an email you can say you know or you can create an email and also if you want after three referrals you can show a link to get the actual bonus right here so you can say after three referrals show this URL and then you can type your bonus URL right here and that's all it takes to create a campaign now once you save your campaign that's it it's launched so that in a nutshell is wildfire Remarkable, and that is not even coming close to <laughs> what this thing can do. I mean, uh, I've already been diving into this, Kyle, and the spreadsheet you're talking about, the viral coefficient, well uh, thought out, well explained, easy to use, by the way. It may have sounded daunting to those and very scientific, uh, but it's really simple, uh, and you take everyone through it through a simple video. But, yeah, we're only scratching the surface what this uh, wildfire, the, the capabilities that it contains, and it, it that doesn't do it uh, enough, <laughs> in my opinion, to explain, and yeah, it probably the, the, couldn't in a short amount of time. Yeah, I mean, kind of the idea that that went into this is, I see that the successful companies out there are using viral marketing, but they're not talking about it. There's very little data and, and knowledge about viral marketing, but if you study what people are doing and what they're doing right, it's viral marketing. And so one of the things that I came across with a lot of people is that, you know, I, I, I appreciate the benefits and the value of viral marketing, but one is too hard, I don't understand it, and I don't know how to actually implement it, it's too technical. So this was simply to solve that problem. 
and also some of the other products that are out there. I mean, and, and I respect some of them, but they solve one specific viral problem, which is great. In fact, one of my former, former products solved one specific viral um, problem. What I wanted to do is create a comprehensive viral solution. Um, so basically, I, I look, I diagnose, I, I study Facebook, I study Twitter. What are they doing right? And then I'll test it um, in, in something, and then I'll take what works, I'll wrap it into a very, very easy to use um, or easy to create campaign just like that, and then someone can have, you know, that on their site in a couple minutes or less. So that was the kind of the idea. And so what I showed in that video was just one of the campaigns that I know works almost every single time it's applied that you can get on your site in a couple minutes and see big, big, big results. Well, you know, certainly the possibilities are endless. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Kyle, we ta have talked about it before. Brian and I have both been very, very involved in affiliate marketing. So this, <laughs> this tool, I mean, there, there are like so many things that you can use it for. But affiliate marketing is just, I mean, talking about your head spinning, it would be perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. I mean, well, any, any component, I'll, and I'll talk about affiliate marketing, but any component of your marketing can be viralized. That means anything that you're doing can be turned into an exponentially multiplying situation. And it's just hard to communicate how powerful that is. So if you'd like strip viral marketing out of the equation, um, and, and, and like, and I'll bring in viral marketing back in a second. But if you take a traditional marketing campaign where you have a certain amount of opt-ins, you have a certain amount of people that actually buy, and you have a certain amount of people that actually upsell, if mm -hmm. you were to just increase each of those, increase your opt-in rate by 10%, increase your uh, uh, conversion rate by 10%, your upsell rate, you could double your business just by those little incremental improvements, okay? Now right. that's before you add viral marketing. So you're talking about tiny improvements can double your business before viral marketing. Well, instead of just increasing by 10% here and 10% there, if instead you turn it into this, and turn each step of your campaign into a viral expansion loop, you're not talking about doubling your business or tripling your business. If you're talking about 10x, 100x your business, just like you see what happened to Facebook and Twitter. You're talking about creating, you know, a monster. And that's where I want to see, where, where I want wildfire to take people so that it's not the Facebooks and the Twitters that are having big results. It's anyone. It's any, you know, the mom and pops and stuff. So that was the idea behind it. Now, when you talk about affiliate marketing, that's just one component of your marketing, right. okay? That, that can be viralized. And you're talking about huge results. You can take your affiliates and give them the, the ability to, um, to, to, to run viral campaigns. So now you have, you know, a lot of these viral campaigns going. And what when you stack viral campaigns together, wow. it's it's beyond explosive. You know what I'm talking? It's, it's like it's like putting a bunch of bombs in a room. I can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's huge. Now, one example I can think of is is um, the the 2008 presidential campaign, mm -hmm. where President Obama took the. Um, Took, took the community organizing model where you take regular people who share the word, word of mouth, knock on doors, and what he did is he infused them with viral campaigns. So he had that MyVO you may have seen uh, online, and he gave these people viral tools. So this is like your affiliate model. Your affiliates are the people who are spreading it one by one, word of mouth, you know, setting up blogs, sending out emails. And of course, affiliates can blow up your business. Oh, but sure. when you give your affiliates viral tools, where now every affiliate is setting off these mini viral campaigns. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, it's game over. And, and actually, that brings me to another, and I know we got to end soon, but I, I have to put this in, is one of the most powerful benefits of viral marketing is when you get your business moving at an accelerated pace, means it's speeding up over time, mm -hmm. it becomes literally impossible for your competitors to catch up with you. Because after you've been going at an accelerated rate, after you know a week, a month, you're moving at such a fast rate that even with the best viral campaign, they couldn't catch up to you because they have to move that much faster. So that's, a, that's probably the biggest reason to get viral marketing is so that your competitor doesn't get there first. And that's why uh, Twitter is, is hard. It's almost impossible to topple a company like Facebook 
or eBay or Amazon because they have moved at such an accelerated rate. Put that in your business and you become untouchable. You not only command and control the whole market, is you, you, you don't, you're immune to competition. It's just true. Look at the examples around you of viral companies and they can't be touched. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for wildfire, baby. Wildfire, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm ready to log back into Wildfire and get my campaigns going. <laughs> no kidding. It's like, who's getting any sleep tonight? We're going to be on the computer all that long. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. I want to be ahead of that conversation. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to tell you, you know what? That was absolutely perfect timing because you got one of the most important aspects that you wanted to share with us, and that's awesome. But I'm going to tell you, the time always comes so quickly. It's unbelievable. But we just want to tell you, Kyle, we are so excited that you not only came up with another incredible and phenomenal product. You know what? I have a feeling you're going to be on with us another 250 gazillion times <laughs> because as brilliant as you are, you're going to keep cranking stuff out. So I have a feeling this is not going to be the last time you're going to be on the show with us. But thank you again. It was awesome Ooh. seeing you. Awesome listening to your brilliance and the phenomenal things that you put together and sharing with our viewers some great examples of how they can take something that seems like it's so cumbersome and make it easy for, for an entry-level entrepreneur and for those that are even moving up in different areas that have more knowledge and expertise to be able to take a tool like this and just light it on wildfire. But anyway, thanks so much. I'm going to turn it back to Brian. Yeah, I couldn't agree with Kathy Moore, Kyle. Thank you once again for being on our show a third time. You are now tied with one other individual for the most appearances on the Celebrity Creator Show. I bet you didn't know that. We ought to make that a viral thing. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, you are you are a man of integrity. I know that. Kathy knows that. Uh, we watch it tonight as you're talking and say, you know, I'm not here to you, – you don't have to buy this. I'm like, come on. You know, we, we you, you are – who you are you are like so genuine and that's why we gravitate to you and when you come up with something new we know it's going to be top-notch and it's going to kick and I'm not gonna say the last word but you know behind uh, but you're, you're oh, come on. you know what you put out as far as quality is representative of who you are a quality individual and we cannot say enough how much we value not only our professional relationship but friendship with you and we hope to have you on as kathy said many more times so thank you once again my friend for coming on to our show i certainly appreciate it. it's always a pleasure it's always a pleasure to be on the show and yeah I'll, I'll definitely come back again but i certainly appreciate it i mean my biggest thing is a lot of people and including myself at one point was struggling with 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 you know search engine optimization pay-per-click and all this stuff you know, we hear the gurus talking about it works, you know, and it works, and it does work. That's that's what's so challenging about it, right. you know. And and I believe my opinion is that I've I, that there is a better way, there is an easier way, there is a way to be able to spend more time with your children and with your mm -hmm. family by 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 implementing a more leveraged strategy, and and hopefully with a tool like Wildfire or with any viral marketing anything, it can help. You know, how people achieve that, achieve that goal. Well, amen so to that's that. That's my goal. All right. Well, thanks once again. We're going to uh, sign off in just a moment, but be back. Oh, you're from you're you're live from Florida, correct? What part of Florida? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes, sir. Florida. Right now, I'm in Stewart, Florida. Just got this new office a couple months ago, and so we awesome. are we are in Florida. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, we we have guests from all over, not just the United States, but the world. In fact, next week, where are we going yeah. to be doing this from, Kathy? England. Who's our guest from? England. Yeah, jolly old awesome. England, so be sure to tune in then. Uh, and this show, watch it again, because that was a lot of information. It will be up and available for all uh, after this uh, live version is over for a bit. But with that, we'd like to respect everyone's time. Thank you once again, Kyle, Kathy. As always, great show. We'll see you all back Bye. here again next week, same time. Good night, all.